God is not proud. Most justice is silenced and nonsense. The laws are not sound. With emotions over logic, you only get closure when you blink. Asking questions is discouraged. Authorities told you what to think. Budgets get dysfunction. Helpful ideas get shot down. Pray for it, prayer, because God is not proud. Nowadays, there's no words of encouragement, except for find a handout in earnest of services, but not to veterans who should flourish from nourishment, hard for all agents, even turbulence for the kids. Politicians fight for their strife in persistent tournaments. I just wish when they'd strike our nerves it would circumvent. No hyperbolic words in this. I actually do research, unlike these prostitute modern-day Nazi Germany journalists. I'm not ashamed of this country. I'm ashamed of its company of leaders, blundering regions. Most people change their life day to day, can't decide who they are at heart. Finding out can make one even farther scarred. Difficult, as hard as shopping carts without starch and carbs. Who's the perpetrator for your behavior? Someone caused it. Detox yourself, please. Start becoming conscious. The ball is in your court until someone drops it like a deposit. So don't let that someone be you. Only go down if there is a bomb threat and you've made it underground. Next, imagine how much of an entire place an explosion can annihilate in one mile length. God is not proud. Most justice is silenced and nonsense. The laws are not sound. With emotions over logic, you only get closure when you blink. Asking questions is discouraged. Authorities told you what to think. Budgets get dysfunction. Helpful ideas get shot down. Pray for it, prayer, because God is not proud. Once we were taught to be brave, now we're taught to behave. Once we were taught to stand on our own two feet for traveling a long distance with, now it's learned helplessness and cognitive dissonance. Every time something bad happens, our leaders opt to take away our rights and our privacy more. As my voice works at this moment, they're silencing yours. Let's talk about Alfred Kinsey, the worst person in America's history. Some consider another Hitler, yet not one bad word about him in our media, not even once, after empirical experience extensive evidence of pedophilia. The news made up good things about him with their lying mouths or they'd keep it shut. His close friend Aleister Crowley was also set up this way. His laws and codes still negatively affect us today. Want to know why people we elect get on my temper? No politician actually makes our lives better. Just think about it. Don't even debate me on this crime with me. God wouldn't be happy with any of them taking away our privacy. Why are sex crimes given the weakest punishment? Lighter than an onion's tint, victims left crying like an onion split. No politician or reporter strongly challenges this issue, I'm starving for answers. They don't have it on the menu. They're just as bad as the rapists. Shameless. The answer to this question is ancient. Open up the Bible and turn the pages to Luke 17 2. God let you know what he thinks of sex crimes. So question him again, you never need to. We are cheated. Ran by real hard heathens, greed-starved demons. I'm not perfect, but I do my part to help out. For my neighbor, I'd give the skin off my back and savings out my stash, strip off my hat, and even empty my shelf out. I'd cook you good food, get you drinks to loan you a phone to buy you nice shoes, anything to help out a look at people as equal. I've committed small sins, I'm telling the Lord I'm sorry for my deceit. My sins were words while those high power use actions to ruin society. Why do funerals cost money? Not everything under the sun should be a business. Just became a widow and now in debt because of them? Assume fetal positions. People should witness egregious amendments now that they are so horrifying they take away more freedoms. Good citizens, guns, and private property surely shunned. The more immoral, the more popular amounts the masses. We pay in big time and get nothing back from the abundance of taxes. Cultural Marxism is now as practiced as much as guitar rhythms. How is one's race, orientation, and politics enough to solve the myth of every individual's involvement in the true character beyond their grin as if you know what their life's like written on a script? Don't judge books by their covers. You never read one page or five from it. That's like judging a bed by its covers before you've laid inside of it. So much division in place now. Religion and race now define the ways how we grade towns. Stereotypes and profiling is encouraged. You authorities wonder why we get nervous? Underneath every lion Satanist politician's desk is an alcoholic's thermos. 
but their livers don't get wrecked, our incomes do. They strip us to the point of insufficient loot. So backwards that they got this system seemed to look distant from my good senses that I could kiss the roof. God is not proud. Most justice is silenced and nonsense. The laws are not sound. With emotions over logic, you only get closure when you blink. Asking questions is discouraged. Authorities told you what to think. Budgets get dysfunction. Helpful ideas get shot down. Pray for it, prayer. Because God is not proud. Horrible role models. All of them stink from the ground up like broken potholes in regards to more than both nostrils. Degenerate, delusional, hypersexual, and untalented people now are whom kids want to be like. It's legal to commit sodomy crimes. These people kids look up to now don't even get fired from drinking and driving or beating people up behind the scenes. Fake apology and still make millions because views and ratings to corporations are finders keepers. Morals and responsibility go away while parents watch and grind their teeth. The truth hurts so you don't want to hear my words either. Hard work isn't looked up to anymore. Little kids are getting phones instead of getting chores. Six corporations run this force of the nation. Its unfortunate basis is distort normalization, as in they're trying to deny you the right to find proof. They want us to forget what history has taught us. All amendments changing from guns to posse compatatas, a fight to permanently, pervertedly change nature and the family nucleus. All I see promoted is be selfish and androgynous, plus it helps your profits when you damage your uterus. Money is neither here or there with our fiat currency. Facts whether or not it's beyond your belief. The Federal Reserve is the most flawed structure, ruining the lives of us who worked hard for it and should yearn to score God's comfort. Gender-neutral parenting and gender transformation for kids is child abuse. Judges don't punish sex offenders enough. I'm so confused. I thought this was a Christian nation. It says so on our money and our pledge. Pedophiles released back into nature. Neighborhoods seems like the indignation coming down on our heads. No company regulates the hazards in our food and drinks. Here's some food for thought. You would think that being there's 100 chemicals in our bodies now that our grandparents never had would stop the use of things like GMOs, corn syrup, and atrazine, which each catch hold making habits seem to change drastically, like our brain activity and hormonal balancing. But corporations need to make money no matter what. Tragedy. Every president I've had committed war crimes and hasn't seen a day in prison. Whistleblowers do get locked up, though, at a great percentage. We aren't allowed to fight tyranny, only play the victim. Just think about everything I've said and ask yourself one thing. Did our forefathers make the same commitments? God is not proud. Most justice is silenced and nonsense. The laws are not sound. With emotions over logic, you only get closure when you blink. Asking questions is discouraged. Authorities told you what to think. Budgets get dysfunction. Helpful ideas get shot down. Pray for it, prayer. Because God is not proud.